I'm Suzanne the Crazy Blonde and today we're doing something a little different. I want to introduce you to Kayla Miller and she owns a business called Plum Pretty Design and Decor and she is a genius at taking old pieces like this table that are a little scratched up and not something you might want to have in your home and turning them into just a treasure that you would want to use everywhere in your home. So she's going to show us how to do that. Okay, so today we're going to be taking this table. This is a table you can find at any antique store, thrift store um, for a little bit of money, like 15 bucks, and transform it into something that is design worthy in your home. Um, and today we're going to be working with any Salon chalk paint. This chalk paint is really easy to work with. You don't have to sand, no prep, no nothing. And the color that we're going to be using today is going to be a mixture of duck egg and old white. Um, so you just take, um, this can only has a little bit left in it, so I'm actually going to take the paint from this can and mix it into this. You're going to do about um, a three to four ratio in color just to get kind of a really nice like sea foamy blue. So three, three of this. Tell, you're you're, you're going to have me. three parts of the old white okay. to one part of the um, duck egg. And I just kind of keep, so I like keep it, mixing it in until I get the color that I like. But if you had um, three quarters of a cup of this, then you would start with a quarter cup of mm -hmm. this. Yes. And mm -hmm. then if you wanted more, you could and then, add And then if you want more of that sea foamy blue, you just kind of keep adding in, uh, you know, a little bit more of the blue. Okay. Just to kind of get the color that you want. So I'm going to open this up. I'm excited to see this. Okay, so this is the color that I mixed with the old white and the duck egg. Oh, so that's it's just, so pretty. It's just a little bit of like a sea foamy, light blue, really nice for springtime. And it's but it's a, a pretty neutral color. Yeah, and it, it goes it goes really well with, um, you know, linens and burlap, burlapy colors and everything like that. So it's just a really nice color for any home that you can mix in. And your specialty is French country decor. Yeah, uh-huh, yep. Um, I kind of specialize in farmhouse style with like a French country country flair. Um, so and that's so popular right now. It is, and especially this color right here goes perfect with that style. And once you have it mixed up and you just want to make sure that all the color is blended, you just want to kind of mix it and make sure there's no white showing through. And I think we got it pretty good there. So then you just want to take your paintbrush, and I use just a, um, it's just an angled, regular paintbrush, um, it's a two inch. So you just take it and you dab it in your paint. You don't want to saturate your paintbrush deeply with the paint. You just want to get a little bit on there, and you just start brushing it on. And you can see the coverage here. Chalk paint is amazing at the coverage. If you want more of the wood showing through, you can you can get by with doing one coat, but you almost never have to do more than two. And how long does it take for this paint to dry? Depending on the environment, it um, takes anywhere from, I mean, sometimes it dries within 30 minutes, and sometimes if there's humidity in the air, it takes a little bit longer. Um, but but, today's the perfect day. Oh, yeah. It's not humid at all. And when it's really warm, it dries even quicker. And you just kind of, you want to stay with the same, the same brush stroke. So you don't want to get on there and just start going everywhere. You want to kind of stay consistent with your brush strokes and just kind of brush it on there and it's you know it's so easy just to take a piece um, you can do it in just a few minutes in the afternoon and finish a piece of furniture for your home and that's what we're all looking for because we're busy and my daughter's getting married and moving and she is going to need some pieces redone so I'm excited to know how to do this and to um, to be able to help her get some things done pretty quickly and a quart of this paint goes a really long way um, you can paint a if you got a table this size, you could paint probably six tables with a thing of this paint. Oh, so it's very economical. Mm -hmm. So you pay yep. $15 for the table, mm -hmm. and how much is the paint? Um, the paint is about um, $40, $42 with tax, um, but like I said, you know, it goes a long way. Yeah. And, uh, and even if you, you can mix it with different colors and stuff, and it goes even further, and you can also water it down if you want more of a thinner, opaque look. It already just looks like a different table. It's great. It lightens it up and it makes it feel, um, just gives it a newness that mm -hmm. it didn't have before. Okay, we finished painting the table. It has two coats on it and it's pretty well covered. 
And now Kayla's going to show us how to sand it and distress it a little bit. Yeah. So for a table like this, when you use chalk paint, if you're wanting a smooth finish, you just want to take a light grit sandpaper. Um, I use about a 180 grit sandpaper and just kind of lightly sand over the entire thing. Or you can use a sanding block um, just to sand over it to kind of get a smooth finish and just to let some of the um, wood grain show through the paint to kind of give it a distressed look. And um, I'll just start with the sandpaper. And literally, you just sand away. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Taking a towel on this side. Yep. So you just really right, lightly. Oh, yep. You're, you're good at And you can see on. here where you kind of do it on the edge. Oh, yeah. You're getting yeah. a little bit of the wood showing through. And so you want that. Yep. <laughs> so you can sand it as little or as much as you like. Yep. So the sealing is pretty important to the yes. durability of the finish. Yeah, all chalk paint has to be sealed. So you either want to seal it with um, the furniture wax or with the um, like a polyacrylic or a polyurethane. Okay. And you can see here where you're getting on these legs, you're getting a lot of the detail showing whenever you're seeing that. Seems like the sanding block might be the easiest way it to It is, go. especially on the legs and stuff. It really helps you get in there and um, in the all little nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. And this is this is sandpaper and a sandblock that you can get at Lowe's or any home yep. improvement store. Mm -hmm. You just kind of want to dust some of the sanding dust off. And then once you have that, you want to seal uh, it with your clear wax. So this is just Annie Swong chalk paint clear wax, and she offers a, a couple different um, waxes. She offers a dark wax. That gives it more of that, like um, almost a dirty antique uh -huh. look. But I really enjoy yeah, the look I don't, of Yeah, I think I clear wax. would like this better too. And what I do is I just get a little bit of wax on my brush. And so is this a special brush that you buy to go with the mm -hmm. wax? It is the Annie Sloan wax brush, and okay. it is the number 22. So similar to makeup brushes where they have yeah. different numbers. And then you just kind of want to massage the wax into the brush. Brush bristles. So you're just getting it warm, or just getting it you're up just, into the you're brush? Just, you're just getting it. Um, up into the bristles of the brush. And then how do you clean then, your brush? You use uh, mineral spirits and just kind of rinse it out. And then you just rub it on. And so it doesn't take that much wax at all to cover no. it? You, you, you don't want to use too much wax because then when it dries it's going to be like a tacky feel and it'll take forever for it to cure. You're just wanting a thin protective layer on there. So it darkens it just a little bit now. Does that, when it dries, does that go away? Um, it does, but it does, it brings some of the, you can see kind of some of the character out in the yeah. wood as well. And waxing's uh, the pretty, the pretty simple step. Yeah. Because you're just covering and protecting what paint that you had painted on there. And I have never enjoyed doing stuff like this, but this is just so quick and easy that I'm having a great time. Yeah, well, before, you know, before I started using chalk paint, I had painted a few pieces of furniture with, like, oil-based paint and different stuff, and, you know, you would have to paint it and then wait overnight or for hours for it to dry before you could do a second coat. And then the cleanup is horrible. Oh, yeah, and this um, chalk paint cleans up with warm water. Um, it's super easy. If you get it on your clothes, just pop it in and comes right out. So the last step of this process is to take a lint-free off and mm -hmm. just buff the top of the table yep. to rub the wax in. Mm -hmm. It just helps um, get any excess wax off and just to kind of help better seal it and rub it down into the, the chalk paint. And this I recommend the furniture wax for you know just occasional tables and side tables but if it's going to be a high traffic area like if you're painting your kitchen cabinets or something like that I recommend sending it, uh, sealing it with a polyacrylic or a polyurethane. And so that you would brush on and let it dry. Mm -hmm. And this, you just kind of massage it into the paint. So it makes it look a little bit more shiny where before mm -hmm. with just the paint, it looked chalky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can feel it, it just gives it a nice clean finish. It's amazing. Yep. So quick and easy. I love it. Yep. So now we're going to take it inside and style it up and show you how to use it. Yep. And just a quick afternoon project. Great. I've had such a great afternoon with Kayla and learn how to refinish this table and work with chalk paint and I'm so excited because I have 
about a million other projects that I want to do now. So um, as I do them, I'll share them on my blog. But thank you so much, Kayla, so for welcome. showing me how to You're do so this. And it was such an easy project. You know, we did it in a couple hours, and now we have it in uh, Suzanne's house, styled and ready to go. And I really love it. So thank you so much. You're welcome. This was a great afternoon. It was so fun. Thanks for having me.